My name is Casey Moore. I'm the smart trainer at Presentation Products in New York City. Our website is www.smartboards.com and you can reach me by email at kmoore at pproducts.com. Today I'm going to show you three ways to create and save notes in Meeting Pro software. The first way is to simply open up a whiteboard file. I'm going to create a new page here. Pick up a pen from your smart board or use the pen tool and create notes. I'm writing with my mouse so it doesn't look great, but there you have it. There are my notes. I can create a new page and make more notes. It's almost great. <laughs> well, there's one more page. This is for demonstration purposes. One more page. And now I can shift these pages around. Let's see, I can move page four to page one. So the page that's selected has a blue border. And when I move it, you'll see a blue line shows up. That's where my page will be inserted. So I can shift my pages around on the page sorter. The second way to take notes is to go into desktop mode. So I'm toggling between whiteboard and desktop. From here, I can choose a pen tool or I can use the pen on my pen tray on my smart board. I'm going to choose blue this time and a fat line. And I can take notes on my desktop. And you'll notice as soon as I clicked on the pen tool, I got a border. And this border shows that I have a transparent layer on top of my desktop. This transparent layer can be saved. I can take a picture of it. So I'm going to do that now. There's a picture. That's a screen capture. I can clear the notes by touching this button. And I can also close that transparent layer so that I have the functionality of my desktop. Now, where did that picture go? I took a screenshot and it goes into the last page in my notebook file. So here are my notes. This is an object in Meeting Pro software. So I can click on the object, I can resize it, and I can rotate it. If you have Meeting Pro Premium, you'll also have a drop-down box in the corner here that has more options for your object. So that's the second way to take notes. The third way is to simply open a Word document or an Excel document, an Adobe Professional document, or a PowerPoint. And I can choose a pen tool. And you'll notice I'm not in my whiteboard file. I'm in my desktop mode. But I didn't get that frame. Instead of getting a frame, I'm going to get my Ink-Aware tools. And this shows me that I can directly interface with my Microsoft Word document using a SmartBoard tool. So when I choose a pen tool, we'll use green this time and I write, let's write notes. I have three options. I can insert this as an image. I can insert it as text, and that text will go where the cursor is. Or I can take another screenshot. So I'll take a screenshot first. It'll capture those notes to my whiteboard. I will insert them as text, and you'll see it showed up as notes. The default is uh, Times New Roman, size 12 font, and it shows up in the color that I used for that picture. So I'm going to choose red this time, and if I take more notes using my pen, I'll do the third option, which is to insert as a picture, sorry, as an image, and then I've inserted that as an image. And there it is. If I go back to my whiteboard file, I have a picture, I have a screenshot of my notes. There they are. At this point, I can save, save as, save that to the desktop, save another copy. And there are your three ways. So to recap, we can take notes in the whiteboard file. We can go to the desktop mode and have an ink layer. that. And the other way is to open a Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or Adobe document. And we have those three options, the Inkaware options, which are to insert as an image, insert as text, or capture to whiteboard. I hope you've enjoyed this session. Again, my name is Casey Moore, and I'm with Presentation Products. Thank you very much.